Pride secretly wishes her husband would ravage her the second she walks in the door. Which one is it? Well, her husband's about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the newlywed game. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary Kroger, and welcome to the Newlywed Game. You're about to meet three brand new couples, and you'll discover while they discover how well they know each other. The game is simple. I ask them questions about their relationship, each other. Each correct answer earns points. The couple with the most points at the end will win a fabulous second honeymoon. Let's meet our first couple. She's a 28-year-old package delivery supervisor. He's a 28-year-old emergency medical technician. They've been married for 15 months. Say hello to Melody and Louis De Vivero. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, good luck, good to see you. Next, she's a 32-year-old claims adjuster. He's a 39-year-old legal assistant. They've been married for nine months. Say hi to LaTanya and Gil Hicks. <laughs> good luck. Finally, she's a 27-year-old sales associate. He's a 29-year-old recordist. They've been married for only six weeks. Let's meet Rose and Mike Hanley. <laughs> Getting a lot of high fives. <laughs> a big round of applause for all of today's newlyweds. Welcome to the show. You guys ready to play? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rose and Mike, you're going to have some tall kids someday, I Dress. think. Rose, I'm going to start with you. And I'm going to ask you, you had a little look of trepidation on your face. You're going to get the ball rolling by looking at Mike here on this screen. Okay. I wish my wife would stop pinching my... Now, I stop the tape because for 10 points, I want you to finish that sentence. And you have to be specific. Specific? How what? about rear? Pinching is rear. Pinch my Pinch rear? Nipples! <laughs> we wanted to hear you say nipples first, Mike. You always pinch my nipples when I come home. It's like a game we have. I, you, I forget it. Uh-huh. Mike's ready to move on, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Tanya, gonna do the same thing. Here's Gil. I wish my wife would stop collecting... Coupons! Coupons! <laughs> Cookbooks. Cookbooks! Cookbooks! But what? am I a good cook? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, it's your turn to look at Lewis. The worst joke I like to play on my wife is... Um, I don't know. Squeeze my butt? I don't know. Squeezes your butt. You guys should meet the Hanleys over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Lewis said. When I hide her wedding rings... Honey, I always hide your rings. You always take them off when you're doing your the wash and yeah, I I hide know. them. And what, yeah. what makes you want to hide her? I'll teach her a lesson. You know, she might lose them one day. Well, why Get a lot of money for those things? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna move on. In fact, I'm gonna turn things around here. And now, Louis, it's your turn to take a look at Melody. My husband insists on buying the cheapest brand of cheapest brand of groceries. <sighs> Cheapest brand, be more specific. Cheapest brand of uh, dishwashing uh, detergent. Okay, all right. Toilet paper. Toilet paper? <laughs> Woo! If Melody? it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Give me a break. <laughs> what? Yes, but he has to buy the big, you know, economy size. Oh, he gets the yeah, big thing from, for less. You know, like price, whoops. Yeah. Um, Price Club or some place oh, no, like You can that. say things like that. That's all right. All right. You, you probably like the two-ply, right? Charmin. All right. We'll move on. All right. Gil. Yeah. Here's LaTanya. When my husband's not looking, I'll hide his... Ooh. Not looking? you will hide my... Cookies. Your cookies. Gil's cookies. <laughs> Ugly, torn, black and blue, slip-on plastic house shoes. Oh, 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 oh man. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot believe you missed that question. <laughs> They're not ugly now. I be torn up. Okay. <laughs> Mike, here's Rose. I get so embarrassed when my husband calls me. Uh. If 
at first, you flop. I'm sorry. Oh. We call this program the second chance. Get a second chance to shop. Go, Jake. On Supermarket Sweep Redemption Week specials. Buzzer's Black Friday Frenzy. Tomorrow starting at 4. Only on Buzzer. Sweet cheeks. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sweet cheeks from? Uh, you don't get embarrassed when I call you mommy. That's a Only whole another story, though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's another story. Why? Why? Out why? In public. Oh uh, well, I don't call you anything out in public beside my my wife. Why, mommy? We have two cats at home and other reasons, but <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. find out more about mommy and. Daddy, the rest of these kids right after these words, so stick around. <laughs> I understand that um, your proposal for Mike was sort of a family affair? Slightly. <laughs> yeah, it was. When Rose and I first met, I uh, took her down to a part on a beach, and on this beach there were cliffs that overlooked. So that was our first date on the water. When I asked her to marry me, I wanted to be special for her, so I invited my family and her family to go to the same beach where we first met. They stood on the cliffs above us. I was on the uh, sand below. I got down on one knee, proposed, and as soon as she said yes, I looked her whole family and my whole family ran to the edge and goes, what did she say? <laughs> and, and I yelled up and I said, she said yes! Well, that's nice. Rose, were you surprised? I was really surprised. I had no clue they were up there or anything. And that, my brother was the one that I heard the most. Like, what'd you say? And I'm like, where's this coming from? Who is this? <laughs> Who's here at the special moment? <laughs> oh, that's but, nice. That's yeah. nice. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, Latanya, it took forever for Gil to ask you out. Oh. Ever. We met in a bowling league, and he asked me for my number fairly quickly, but he called for weeks, 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 and weeks. <laughs> and <laughs> and weeks. so finally, 
He didn't ask me out, so I asked him out. Well, <laughs> which is cool, but Gil, what, what, what was going on in your mind? What? Hey, um, I was a little nervous, a little shy. Didn't want to rush things. Took my time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's working nicely now. Right, most definitely. <laughs> no, all right. You've overcome your shyness. Most definitely. Right. <laughs> now, Melody and Lewis, there's a rumor that maybe you guys would have gotten together more quickly except for Lewis's girlfriend. Yes, he had a girlfriend for like four and a half years. And when we met, you know, we really like each other, but, you know, he had this girlfriend. It was so. kind of like when Harry met Sally. Uh, during the course of those four and a half years, I ended up falling in love with her, but I was too afraid to say anything to jeopardize our friendship. Uh, that we built up till one night she asked me out. We went to dinner, took her, and drove on Mulholland Drive, and the rest is history. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, right now, Melody and Lewis, you don't have any points. That's going to change, right? No points. You better. Now, Gil and Latanya, if you multiplied Melody and Lewis's score by a thousand, we'd have your score. That would be zero. <laughs> Mike and Rose, if you took the square root of that and multiplied it by a thousand, we'd have your score, which is zero. Okay. We have a three-way tie. Now, here's why we're going to change this. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple-choice question. Then it's going to be up to you to tell me which of the three answers your mate said. A match is 10 points. Melody, I'm going to start with you. According to Lewis, you give him that look when you want to fool around, when you want to get him to do something, or you want to kill him. When I want to kill him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, of baby. course, you don't want to kill him right now, but what's that look look like? You don't want to see it. <laughs> no, we said, yeah. Okay, that works. That works. LaTanya, yes. did Gil say you gossip rarely, occasionally, or like there's no tomorrow? Like there's no tomorrow. Very oh, good. Right, baby. Come on, win it. <laughs> All right, we're making some points here. Now, Rose, according to Mike, your last fight ended up in shouts, in tears, or in bed? In bed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we still have a three-way tie, but you all have some points. Now, Mike, when you tell a joke, does Rose say that you deliver it like a stand-up, give away the punchline, or leave people confused? Give away the punchline. No? Rose? The look on their faces. They don't know what the heck you were trying to say. Oh. <laughs> they were confused. <laughs> Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, OK. All right. Yeah. Gil, when it comes to men's fashion, did LaTanya tell us that you're in style, out of style, or clueless? Clueless. No? <laughs> LaTanya? I said that he was um, out of style. Yeah. 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 I always remind him that we're in the 70s, and mm -hmm. I mean, we're not in the 70s, and hey. we're in the 90s. Not 70s, huh?
wore those little <laughs> slippers that you wear. Is that in style? Or, <laughs> those or, were from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Lewis, did Melody say that a surefire way to put you to sleep is a big meal, a boring movie, or a boink in the bedroom? It's got to be a boink in the bedroom. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we're uh, not putting you to sleep, and you'll stay with us right after these commercials. <laughs> Game. The Hanley's over there. Rose and Mike, you're on the board with 10 points. Congratulations. Yes. You're tied with the Hicks, Latanya and Gill, who have 10 points. The De Viveros. Melody and Lewis, you have 20 points. You're in an early lead. Now, gentlemen, before the show, we had some time to talk to your wives, and they revealed all sorts of little secrets about you guys, your relationship themselves. Now, as I reveal those secrets, if you think it's your wife that I'm talking about, I want you to hold up that sign. I want to see it right now. Hold up the sign you have on your left. Lewis, there you are. And you're going to get my attention by screaming out, That's, That's my wife! Right. That will definitely get my attention. <laughs> now, if you're right, you're going to get 10 points. But here's the catch. If you're wrong, you'll lose 10 points. So you've got to be sharp. The first one up is the only one that can win or lose. You ready? She loves it when you treat her like a queen. That's what? my wife! Gil, way to go. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, baby. Yeah. I know that's right. That's right, that's right. Treat her like a queen right now. She hates it when you leave your toothbrush on the sink. That's my wife! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> that's an easy thing to fix, you know. It's right next to it. <laughs> she I... thinks you look sexiest in your jeans. That's my wife! Oh, right. Yeah. Andy, come on! Let it. <laughs> Whoa! So that would, that would be in style. Yeah, the those are the ones I bought. Okay. <laughs> Behind your back, she secretly eats your breakfast cereal. Uh, Who is that? You eat my breakfast <laughs> cereal? <laughs> okay, all right. And then she gives me a hard time when I eat her cereal. Really? Well, obviously you're getting away with it. Yeah, I'm good. Well, here's a little tip. <laughs> Get two boxes of cereal. <laughs> We do. My wife buys the healthy oat brand stuff, and I buy the little Lucky Charms honeycomb. So you're eating the honeycomb, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm a, no more counseling. I'm going to move on. In her dreams, she sees herself as a very thin woman. That's my wife. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm all winning now. Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, yeah. The celebrity she would love to see naked is Denzel Washington. That's my wife! <laughs> uh, you were, who was that? That was Melody. You just didn't get it up there quite fast oh, enough. Oh, man. <laughs> I lost 10 points, man. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's a pretty good guess. <laughs> she wishes you would ravage her the second she walks that's in the wife. door. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to be back with these. The Buzzer Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll be back. We'll be back first. This. Keep it right here on Buzzer.
after this, and we're going to find out who's going to win that incredible second honeymoon. So don't go away. game. At the end of this round, one of these couples will be off on a fabulous second honeymoon. Ellen, where's our winning couple going today? Gary, today's winners will spend six nights courtesy of Aero California Vacations at the Camino Real Las Hadas Resort in Manzanillo, Mexico. Enjoy moonlight walks overlooking Santiago Bay through the championship golf course as a romantic backdrop. They'll fly Aero California airline service to 24 Mexican cities, Los Angeles and Tucson. Aero California, the airline that knows Mexico. What a great second honeymoon. Adios, Gary. Thank you, Ellen. Okay, well, Rose and Mike, you've got 30 points. It's a very respectable score. Actually, at this time, you are tied with Latanya and Gil, who have 30 points. Melody and Lewis, you have 20 points. You're not far behind. Now, I just couldn't help but notice, Melody, during the commercial. We're talking about style, and you're talking about your style, Gil. If you can get a camera on, on Melody's toes, I want her toenail polish is the same as her outfit. I think that's, that's nice. It's nice to see that you go so far to be uniform. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give the wives a couple of choices. It'll be like cash or charge, firm or flabby. They're gonna hold up a card that best applies to you guys, and then it's up to you to match. Now, here's the thing. I start with 10 points, but I go all the way up to 100 points for the last one. You ready? Here we go. This is for 10 points. Butter or margarine? Quickly, ladies. Very good. Lewis. Butter. She said you're margarine. Gil. You have to be butter. She said margarine. Mike. Margarine. Okay, you got one. For 20 points, channel surfer or stays with one show? Quickly, Latanya. Sorry. And I'm going to start with Gil. Stays with one show. That's right, you do. Hopefully this one. Mike. Channel surfer. Good. Lewis. Channel surfer. Good. There you go. 30 points. Always right or never right? Mike? Always right. <laughs> and you have been so far. <laughs> Lewis? Gotta be always right. Okay, very good. <laughs> Gil? Never right. Okay. <laughs> but that time you were. <laughs> this is for 40 points. Fresh breath or morning breath? Lewis? <laughs> Hate to admit it, morning breath. <laughs> Gil. Morning breath. Perfect. <laughs> Mike. Morning breath. You're batting a thousand. For 50 points. This is a big one. Penthouse or popular mechanic? Gil. Penthouse. Okay. Mike. Popular mechanic. Penthouse. First one you missed. Lewis. Penthouse. Good. Very good. 60 points. Do it in the dark or turn on the lights? Mike. Turn on the lights. No, she says you do it in the dark. Lewis. That's a tough one. Uh, turn on the lights. Do it in the dark. Gil. Do it in the dark. OK. You've taken a commanding lead there. This one is for 100 points. Still, anyone can win. Anyone can win 100 points. Do it on the table or do it on the floor. Now, I'm going to start with you, Mike. You have 130. This would give you 230, put you in a tie with Latanya and Gil. Do it on the floor. OK, right now you've got 230. Now, I'm going to come over to you, Lewis. You've got 160. This would put you in first place. Do it on the floor. OK, right now you got 260. Gil, don't say a word. Don't say a word. I want to see the sweat come off that beautifully shaved head of yours. All right, if you get this right, you and Latanya are off on that fabulous Mexican honeymoon. Otherwise? Take a look over your right shoulder there, Lewis and Melody. Maybe they'll send you a postcard. It's up to you. Do it on the table or do it on the floor. Do it on the floor.
A lucky couple is off to the cliffs at Shell Beach, a romantic getaway overlooking the Pacific on California's central coast. This deluxe oceanfront resort features 165 suites and guest rooms with fine dining, pools, spa and fitness center. The cliffs at Shell Beach.